Although painting might seem like a relatively risk-free endeavor, the truth is it can cause serious bodily harm if the right precautions are not taken. One reason for this is that paint is made out of chemicals that are harmful to people. When it lands on unprotected skin or eyes, it can ser cause severe irritation. Paint fumes can also cause respiratory problems and headaches. Another reason is that certain products in use in painting such as oil premier and paint thinner are highly flammable. Without carefully, careful handling, painters run the risk of burns. Finally, exterior painting often requires working at heights which places painters at risk of falling and injuring themselves. If you are about to embark on a painting project, you need to know about the risk associated with the type or types of painting you will be doing. Here is a, here is a concise overview of the different types of painting and related risks. First, brush painting. Brush painting is the most basic type of painting. It is commonly used in paint wood, for example, windows, window seals, door frames, and other door work. It also used for decorative paint styles and can, can be used for walls. The risk associated with brush painting includes spills on skin as well as paint splashes in the eyes. Because a lot of brush painting involves oil or solvent-based paint, it can also cause headaches and breathing issues. Second, roller application. Roller application is frequently used for interior walls and ceilings. Risks include paint splashes on the skin and in the eyes. Painters can also run the risk of pulling a muscle or incurring another type of injury due to work in an uncomfortable position for a long period of time. This may not seem like a big deal, but if you are doing this as a profession, the damage to your body can compound over time. Paint roll, rolling can also come with respiratory risks without proper ventilation or respiratory protection. Third, spray painting. Spray painting is the mo is most often used for large surface such as lobbies and exteriors of large buildings. Painting painters run the risk of getting paint particles in their eyes. Paint particles and fume may all also irritate their respiratory system. For this reason, the health and safety precautions and equipment are extremely important for spray painting. This often includes protective eyewear, clothing, and respiratory protection. Painting at heights. The painting of anything that is not at, the, at ground level can be dangerous. Painting in, can injure themselves severely by just falling off a step ladder. Those who work at heights must take consider safety precautions as a fall could be fatal. This involves scaffolding or safety harnesses. In addition, activities that are involved in painting preparations and clean up can also be bring risks oftentimes wooden surface surfaces need to be sanded before they are painted this can lead to scrapes on the land as well as dust in ice and respiratory system how harmful this dust is will often depend on what you are sanding old paint wood and etc. Cleaning paint brushes and other tools often requires this, the use of paint thinner, depending on type of paint used. If this is exposed to an open flame or high, high heat source, it can catch fire and cause serious burns. To keep yourself safe during any residential or commercial painting project, you need the right personal pr protective equipment or PPE. First, gloves. Always wear your gloves to protect your hands 
Leather or cloth gloves are sufficient for sanding. Next, solvent. Resist resistant gloves are required for handling paint thinner and other solvent. Impim impermeable gloves are best wat for water and oil-based paint. Next, eyewear. Use protective eyeglasses, eye goggles, or face shield whenever handling a paint or paint thinner. It is especially important when painting above your head or spray painting as well as when sanding. Next, paint masks. Wear a dust mask, a particulate respirator when sanding. If you are very sensitive to chemicals, you should also wear a respiratory mask when using a brush or roller. Note that if you are painting outside in an area with Lots of birds, you may, you may need to wear a mask to protect yourself from the harmful pathogens in bird droppings. When you are spraying painting, you are best advised to use a paint respirator. It, this, as this offers more protection for your airways. Coveralls and shoe covers. Next, coveralls and shoe covers. A disposable or cotton coverall and disposable shoe covers serve to protect your both clothing and very exposed skin that could become irritated by contact with paint. Hard hat. If you are working at heights, a hard hat is a wise safety precaution as it is can help protect your head if you fall addition. Additionally, if you are working on a busy construction site, it will protect your head if an object falls on you. Next, fall arrest. A fall arrest system can consist of single carabiner or double carabiner that can be attached to a railing to prevent you from falling. It often comes with a harness that straps around the torso and legs for added safety. Scarf folding may also be used in some situation to prevent injuries from falls. Next, and last is a fire extinguisher. It is always important to keep a fire extinguisher on site in case there are any accident with flammable materials such as paint thinner.